Hello everybody, and welcome to the Bastion. How are you guys doing today? How is everyone? So we left off after having explored pretty much all of Termina. It turns out I forgot to save after my last game. I had to go redo all of that. The entire episode where nothing ever happened, I had to do it again. So, uh, now we're ready to examine this Viper statue. Let's see what's, what's going on. All right, all squeaky clean. It's got to be extra clean for the coming festivities. Have you folks come to see the Viper Festival? I mean, of course. Termina is peaceful thanks to the watchful eye of our master Viper. That seems like... Does he hear himself saying this? Like, the watchful eye of the Viper is why we're safe? This, like, venomous, terrible snake? Okay. At times warm, at times strict, Master Viper watches over us always. With that said, of course, the real Master Viper resides in his manor along with the Acacia Dragoons. If you'll allow me to brag a little bit, I was invited to the manor a while back. It is a magnificent place. If there is a heaven on earth, that would be it. <laughs> the manor is beautiful, and its design incorporates the surrounding terrain to its advantage, making it an impenetrable fortress. On top of that, there are powerful soldiers standing guard in front of the main gates that can destroy any monster with just one blow. Well, an upright citizen like myself might be invited to the manor's garden party, but not so for you folks. The most you'll get is a cold reception from the gate guards. Ho, 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 ho. Okay. How rude. Hey, it's Kid. Straya. That's right. <laughs> I forgot that we named her Straya. <laughs> All right. That's settled. We've got to sneak into Viper Manor. You've got to find out what the Acacia Dragoons are up to, right? And why that Karsh bloke was trying to capture you. I've got some business there as well, so I'll go along with you. How about it, scrub? <laughs> okay, let's go. Let's do this. It's the obvious choice, right? According to the grandpa here, this Viper Manor is a bloody big place, which also means it'll be easy to break into. There's got to be more than one way in. If we don't plan this right, it'll cost us our lives. Oh yeah, scrub. I'll leave this in your hands, just in case. It's a teleporter. This is a really handy gadget. It allows you to... Ex I'm just like... I'm not getting this accent. I can't... I need to practice an Australian accent, because it's like going in and out. <laughs> that allows you to exchange party members from afar. The way you use it... Ah, forget it. Check it out for yourself. I hate explaining the details. Scrub received the teleporter. Awesome. So that'll let us exchange party members. Uh, on the, the main map. I think that we switch out Lean On with Straya for a bit. I think that's what we do. Alright, so at this point in the game, it actually uh, splits off into three paths. So we're gonna get a little bit medic here. Let me make sure her elements are good to go. Oh yeah, they're, they're, they're great. Earth. Okay. Uh, anyways, it splits off into three paths. Our first path, we can go talk to Guile, the magician from a few episodes ago. The second path, we can go talk to Pierre, who is that hero guy. And the third path is we can actually go find Nikki from the Radical Dreamers. I think the kind of the classic path, the one that most people end up going with for their first playthrough, is Guile. So we're going to go with Guile as well. Guile, whose theme matches everything. Uh, let's check it out. Uh, hey, bro. A broski. Bro man. There is no such thing as an impregnable, f impregnable fortress in this world. It is destined to be so. Hmm, so you have business at the manor as well. Interesting. Gambling is a lot more interesting with higher stakes. What we need now is a seasoned sailor and a sturdy boat to cross the rough ra rough waters. I know exactly where to find one of those. What cha talking about? We'll get court cha. If you can find one, leave the rest to me. I will guide you to Viper Manor. What will it be? Let's ask him for his help. Guile enigmatically join your party. Well, I feel like we need to call him like Enigma now. That's a terrible name, but 
I did not think of a name before the episode, so we're gonna go with Enigma. Perfect. Confirm. Enigma enigmatically joined the party. Uh, I wanna, I wanna keep Potial because I just I love Potial. Doggo is my fave, but I wanna have Kid in the group as well. Hmm. I guess we'll switch out Kid for Guile. For now. Once you find a boat, leave the rest to me. I shall guide you. I believe the fortune teller said the target for the bet is located in the manor's mess hall. Perf. I like how you're just like fucking gliding. Like on a freaking hoverboard. Man, he's so cool. I want to be like Guile when I grow up. I'm just imagining him, like, wearing Heelys, like, gliding across Termina. <laughs> I don't know why that's an amusing picture to me. Oh. Alright, so there's Korcha. We'll grab Korcha. We'll grab his boat. We will... Swim... Sail... <laughs> to, uh... We'll sail to Termina. Termina. To Viper Manor. Apparently, Guile needs to go figure out a bet in the mess hall and we will go and um, figure out why the heck we're being hunted back again eh I'll take you wherever you want then how about Viper Manor as long as you can pay me I'll take you anywhere you want it's just that I don't know how to get to the manor if you want to get there bring someone who does I shall guide you there are you sure you can get into a place like that? Yes, trust me. All you need to do is prepare the boat. You got it, but it'll cost you. It's gonna be 100 gold. Fine. Fine. That's as much as I paid for my new freaking sword. Highway robbery. Come on, get on board. It's a little tight with four of us, but it'll be a short trip. Don't you worry about a thing. Guile's too cool. He's like on the little stabilizer. So smooth. So smooth. Alright, so hopefully we'll get to Viper Manor without too much issue. Hey! Those guys didn't listen to me! Jeez. Get out of here with your classism and your ageism. Wow, it's Korcha's boat. The little freaking Corgi, like, meh, 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 meh. how cool. And hey, those are the guys I talked to earlier. Everyone loves us. Everyone knows us. We're popular. We're networking. It's just a quick little boat ride away. He's like rowing the entire way there. He's got freaking arms of steel. Alright, here we are. Don't you think it's pretty dangerous? Indeed. I was hoping you'd just leave it there. Just not not do anything out there. Right, anyway. We'll make it. Squabby poo. Let's go. Yes, let's go. Alright, let's start our climb up this totally safe looking sheer cliff. Right, so we got some guards. <gasps> Intruders! Begin stone toss! Ugh! He's just like freaking chucking stones down there. Jesus Christ. Holy crap. Hey, right, let's try not to get hit by stones. That was mostly luck. Woo! Woo! I wanna actually, yeah, I want, I want this chest. Give it to me. One tablet. Okay. There's also a chest like 
way, way down there. Kapow! Alright. Combat time. It's been a while since we had combat. I have my new sword! Oh, I wonder how it looks. I bet it looks cool as hell. It looks pretty much like my old sword, but brown. It's a... Is that a, is that a gobbledygook? It is a gobbledygook. Cool. Gobbledygook. It's a real word. I learned about that word right before the it was used in the Harry Potter and the Deathly Hollows. I was like super excited because I was like, this is a really cool word. And then... It showed up in that freaking movie, and everyone was like, oh, you just got it from that movie. I don't know why that made me mad, but I was mad. I was angry. He, he can't even, he's too cool to hold his staff. It's like, I'm too sexy for my staff. And that's not a euphemism. That's literally my staff. I wonder if his theme song also goes with everything. Like Street Fighter Giles. We're looking for iron. It'd be cool to get some more copper as well. Ooh, some magma bomb. Nice! Okay. I wanna like... I can't, like, just jump down there, can I? Damn it. Ugh. Ow. Tin damage. What is that? There's a little, like, nest thing that's just, like, rolling in and out of that hole. Oh, that was weird. Alright. Meteorite. Ooh, that seems freaking cool. Let's check out Meteorite. What color? Ah, oh, Meteorite is white! put meter right there let's put photon ray down a level let's give guile a couple magma bombs i think just so he has something you know chino ah! all right well then ah ow that did not feel good You know, now that we don't have Lena on, we don't have a uh, cure. So we're going to have to be careful with our health. We only have tablets to cure ourselves. That was a mistake. I need to buy a few more cure just so that we... Ooh, Doggo is not looking good. Lock Nest. As in, like, the Lock Nest monster. Bleh. <laughs> Oh, what? Miss? Excuse me. Bet. Doggo. Not feeling good. Alright, we're gonna use... Uh... Canine ball. Yeah, that seems like a good idea. Boom. Crunch. Perf. I need to remember to use my elements, because it's not like it costs me anything to use the elements. Uh, wanda in. Teleport your wand into a creature's innards? That is a horrifyingly gruesome image. Ouch. 96! Holy... Jesus! 96 damage? Wow. That was... Alright, yeah, got some HP. Let's go ahead and use consumables. Get everyone back up to full health. It was a real big mistake not to bring someone that had cure. But hopefully we'll be okay. Ah! Is this actually just, like, not go anywhere? Cool. Cool. I'm glad that we went that way. Alright, let's see. Maybe we can go into... Ow. This hole. Nope. We cannot. We can a. Oh, I can just, like, walk off over here? 
I want to figure out how to get down to like the the lower level that we passed like way back here so uh, I had to take a little bit of a detour there I wanted to make sure we didn't miss anything back on the other level so we're checking out this area now why am I able to get right here what am, what is right here is it nothing is it literally nothing is it just like giving me extra routes to confuse me now we got to get those chests though man we got to get them it's getting to the the time where I usually cut off oh hey hey bro Ow. Uh, where I usually cut off my videos but not quite ready yet I want to get our, us to like a nice stopping point Ooh, ow I bet we can climb into that hole there unlike the other one that I tried to climb into Oh god, no, we're under attack. Oh god, no. No. We'll be, we'll be fine. Took some more damage from the stupid rocks. But, like, we'll, we'll be fine. Attack the gobbledygook. Murder kill it. Do a dash and slash. Sounds like something you do so that you don't have to pay for your dinner. There we go. So those moves with the little, like, sort of yin-yang symbol next to them. Uh, that you see, like, the Wanda in, the dash and slash, the canine ball. Those are, like, special moves that only those characters can learn. They're, like, kind of signature moves. It's pretty cool. And you get more of them as you as your character levels up. All right, use consumables if needed. We got ourselves another eyeball and an antidote. We're almost done exploring this area. Let's just uh, go ahead and climb up here. Was there anything over here? Yeah, there was a whole new freaking route. Uh, I do want to check out this little cave area. I think that we can actually climb into there. Ooh, we're right about to get hit by a rock. We got attacked right as a rock was like, oh god! Ah. Alright. This... I wonder if I can kill both of them in one round. Nope. Alright, we'll murder the other one with dash and, dash and slash. It'll take two rounds to kill them. Almost. We're doing pretty good. Boop. <laughs> Boop, dead. Thanks, doggo. And we actually didn't take any damage there. We're still at full health. And some stat increases, which is nice. Which is nice. And then we get knocked down, as predicted. All right. I cannot climb up there. Oh, it has all been for naught. Oh, that's so disappointing. I was so ready. I was so ready. Oh, we finally made it to the chest. I hope it has a cure in it. Free fall. Free fall? What the heck is free fall? Is that an element? What is free fall? Consumable, set trap to catch free fall element. Huh. Huh. Consumable is weird, actually. I didn't expect it to be a consumable. But we got, uh, got ourselves a new element, I guess. Question mark. What is a free fall element? Is that, like, another ability that can put your character into free fall or something? I don't know. Alright, we've done our best to explore, like, everything we can around here. 
There's definitely like a few chests that we haven't gotten. Yeah. Ah, they made it up! Ha, 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 ha. Let this be the end of you! Haya! Okay, let's murder kill this guard. What you what you got? Oh, there's two of you. Psh, you ain't nothing for my dash and slash. All right, let's murder him with our dash and slash. That should be good enough to take him out, I think. I have no idea how much health he has. Oh yeah, 50 damage. Ain't nobody gonna survive that. Ain't nobody. And let, let Doggo take care of this guy. Hit him with, uh, hit him with the Electro Jolt. He's wearing metal. The Electro Jolt should be pretty painful. Oh, his innate element is yellow, though, so it's probably not going to do as much damage as we suspect. But Gaia will finish him off, no problem. And then we give him a much less merciful death by teleporting our wand inside of his body. And, uh, yeah, that's just horrifying on every level. That's a horrible, horrible way to die. <laughs> All right, there we go. We killed the guards. We scaled the cliff side. We got a new star. Nice, look at that stat up though. Mm. Use some, some consumables. We got some more tablets. Where uh, things are looking up, we got into Viper Manor. <laughs> Darn, have some of this. Oops, darn it. He's just like carrying the boulder in his pocket. What the fudge? What? Is he flying using his ears? What the heck is that? Okay. Well, we're gonna end this episode <laughs> right here in our next episode we'll figure out who floppy like dumbo ear birdman is uh i appreciate all of you guys hanging out and joining me for this episode where we uh almost got into viper manor we're almost there if uh you enjoyed the content or like the video please follow like subscribe all those things really help the channel out and help us grow and get more people so that i can make more content like this for you guys to enjoy I love your faces, and I can't wait to see you next time. Bye!